We're making a new Resident Evil. Surprising no one, Resident Evil 9 is now officially announced by Capcom. And while we don't have a reveal with gameplay or story details just yet, Capcom's Koshi Nokanashi has stated that it's officially in development during Capcom's next 2024's Summer Showcase. Rumors have been swirling for a while now and have both corroborated and contradicted themselves in equal measure. Koshi Nokanashi directed Resident Evil 7, which was both drastically different than anything the franchise had ever done, as well as a return to their roots. With Nokanashi at the helm of Resident Evil 9, this represents an incredible opportunity for a tremendously powerful game full of terror. Based on his comments about how Resident Evil's venture into more of the action side of things being the wrong move, it's reasonable to believe that Resident Evil 9 will offer a similarly pared down horror experience like Resident Evil 7. The only thing Nokanashi had said about Resident Evil 9 is that it's substantial, not much to work with, but Based on his recent body of work within the franchise, I'm incredibly excited about being incredibly terrified. I'm hoping we get to see some of our core group or even fan favorites from games gone by reappear, but I'm wanting to also meet some new faces as well. I'd love to see a sort of deeper dive into what maybe Blue Umbrella has been up to. And how is that playing out with where we left off in Village, with bioweapons being dropped in by the BSAA? And how will Chris reconcile this revelation? Is it possible for us to hear from Sheva again? Maybe the BSAA is fracturing internally over the use of bioweapons to fight bioweapons? I would certainly be down for seeing where that leads. Perhaps we're dropped into a BSAA facility that has faced an outbreak and is hauntingly empty and ripped apart leaving us to pour through the wreckage to discover what happened and save who's left. Along the same lines as Leon or Claire in like Resident Evil 2 or Leon in the latter parts of Resident Evil 4. Something like that could certainly piece together things for us but offer a gritty horror experience in the same vein as Resident Evil 7. Honestly, I'd be surprised if we get to see Chris again so soon. I'd be willing to bet we're more likely to hear from Claire, Jill, or even Leon. I'm sure whatever events unfold, we will be surprised and terrified in equal measure. So what's everyone hoping to see in our next numbered release? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And help me defeat the algorithm by liking and subscribing if you think I've earned it. Until next time, I'll holler at y'all later.